The mighty latissimus dorsi, more commonly known as the lats, is a big flat muscle that if well developed and spread out, gives a look of wings from the back, or the look of a cobra from the front. Well, it gives the back a V-tapered look. Many chase this look and want those barn door lats, the wider the better. I know this might scare the ladies out there who don't seek to have this look, but the muscle shouldn't be ignored. Anyways, it is very difficult to create that amount of hypertrophy or muscle growth, let alone for a male with high testosterone levels to get those extreme size levels. So work those lats hard, you need them. There's one more thing I'd like to mention before we go over the anatomy of the lats, and that is a condition called imaginary lat syndrome, ILS, also known as invisible lat syndrome. For some reason, dudes that lack any muscular development at all are most likely to have ILS. They tend to walk around with their arms flared out as if they applied some cheap deodorant that left their armpits on fire. Now all they can do is just release their anger on kids for their lack of gains. Here, let's do a quick search on WebMD and see what we can find. Alright, here we got it. ILS, Invisible Lat Syndrome. Symptoms? Looking like they're carrying home invisible watermelons from a two-for-one sale. Causes? Inflated ego? Obviously being a loser. Alright, that's enough goofing around. Let's get on to the anatomy. So please... Stick around. Latissimus dorsi basically means broadest muscle of the back. Latissimus is Latin for broadest, and dorsi comes from the Latin dorsum, which means back. It's not just the broadest muscle of the back, but also the biggest muscle of the upper body. It's so big it basically originates from your entire body. <laughs> no, no it doesn't, but it does have lots of origins, so pay attention. It originates from the thoracolumbar fascia, which reaches from the median sacral crest, basically your whole sacrum, S1 to S5. Then continues up spinous processes of the vertebrae, L5 to T7. We aren't all built the same though. It can differ from four to eight vertebrae in the thoracic spine. So some might have a lat that reaches to T5 and some it might only reach a T9. It also follows the outer lip of your iliac crest, which is your pelvis. As if that's not enough, it also originates from the costa 10 to 12 dorsally, or sometimes 9 to 12, which means the bottom three or four ribs towards the rear. And in about 70% of the population, it also originates from the inferior angle of the scapula, the bottom part of the shoulder blade. It all attaches to the floor of the intertubercular sulcus of the humerus, which is the upper front part of your upper arm bone. The intertubercular sulcus is also known as a bicipital groove where the tendon for the long head of the biceps brachii sits. Keeping in mind that your bicep sits on the anterior part of your humerus really puts in perspective how far this muscle's reach really is. So basically, the latissimus dorsi goes from your butthole to the front of your upper arm. <laughs> Insanity. Which functions does this give us? Going from your butthole to your arm, it should help us with wiping our butts. Remember to wipe front to back. Let's break down the functions of the lats. There's so many. Shoulder retraction, shoulder depression, shoulder internal rotation, shoulder extension and hyperextension, horizontal abduction, lateral flexion of the torso. But I'm not done yet! Yeah, there's more. When the muscles are used bilaterally, both muscles contract at the same time. This happens. Extension of the torso. Increase lumbar lordosis. <clears throat> Increased lumbar lordosis through an anterior pelvic tilt. Hasta la vista, baby.